Okay class, we're about to start section 4.1, Solving System of Linear Equations by Graphing. Okay now, it says here, we have, we have seen that the solutions to an equation in the form ax plus by equals c can be graphed as a straight line. Two such equations are called a system of linear equations or a linear system. A solution to a system of two linear equations and two variables is an ordered pair that satisfy both equations in the system. Objective one, decide whether an ordered pair is a solution of a linear system. Example one, determine if the ordered pair two negative three is a solution of the system. So what we need to do is this here. We need to substitute in two and negative three for x and y, and then make sure that it equals both of these values. So we will take the first equation and we will substitute in two for x, and negative 3 for y. And then we would take the second equation and substitute in 2 for x and negative 3 for y. So now 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times a negative 3 will give us minus 9 and it equals negative 5. 4 minus 9 is negative 5 and that equals negative 5. Now we look here at the second portion. 7 times 2 is 14. A minus 3 times a negative 3 would give us a positive 9, and that equals 23. 14 plus 9 is 23, and 23 equals 23. Now, since this ordered pair worked in both of these uh, linear equations here, then the answer is yes, it is a solution. Now we go down here to example 2. It says find all ordered pairs that satisfy both of the equations in the system. Now graph both equations on the grid and the solution to the linear system is the point where the two lines intersect. Okay, so what we're going to do here is this here. We're going to take this equation here, y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals negative x plus 5. We're going to find solutions to these equations then graph. Okay, now, now class, for the sake of time, I did a lot of the uh, process here for example two, and I'm going to explain it. It says find all order pairs that satisfy both of the equations in the system. What they want us to do is take this one uh, linear equation and find three points for it. So I took this linear equation, I let x be zero, substitute in zero for x, and that gives us 0 minus 1, and y is negative 1. So our first order pair is 0, negative 1, which I marked here. Then we go to the same equation, but this time I'm going to use negative 1 for x. So we have y is equal to 2 times negative 1, which gives us negative 2, minus 1, which is negative 3. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 3. And then finally, I'm going to substitute, substitute in positive 1 for x. So we add 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1 gives us 1. So now we graphed all of those points. We had 0, negative 1. We had negative 1, negative 3. We have positive 1, positive 1. So then I graphed all of those points. This is the line here. Okay, next we go to the second equation. This time I'm going to use the same values for x. So we're going to substitute in 0 for x here. So it'll be the opposite of 0, which we know is 0, plus 5. So when x is 0, y is 5. Next, I'm going to put in negative 1. So this is the opposite of negative 1 plus 5, which gives us positive 1 plus 5, which is 6. So when x is negative 1, y is 6. And then finally, we substitute in 1 for x. So we have the opposite of positive 1, which is negative 1, plus 5 is 4. So when x is 1, y is 4. Now, here I plotted those points as well. We have 0, 5. We have negative 1, positive 6. And we also have 1, 4. And this line has been graphed. It says, now graph both equations on the same grid, which we did. The solution to the linear system is the point where the two lines intersect. Now we look here, these two lines intersect at 2, 3. Now, so 
what we will put we will put here is two comma three now of course we should check this just to be sure so we're going to take these two equations we have y is equal to 2x minus 1 and then we have y is equal to negative x plus 5 now when we substitute in 2 for x and 3 for y we both should get um, the right answer for both of these so y is 3 and x is 2 now this is 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 and we know 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 is equal to 3 so it works for this equation now we try 2 here for x so we have y is equal to the opposite of 2 plus 5 now we know that this is negative 2 plus 5 and negative 2 plus 5 we know is 3 now I forgot to substitute in 3 for y so I'll write it down here and as a matter of fact we could go back to these two places here and then substitute in 3 for y okay so the answer is 3 equals 3 so this is correct so 2 3 is the solution to this system okay class now we go to objective 2 solve systems of linear equations by graphing so it's example 3 solve by graphing we have x plus y equals 1 and y minus x equals 3 so this is what we would do first I like to use 0 1 and negative 1 for my x values you know no particular reason I just like them because they're small numbers so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this first equation we have x plus y equals 1 and I'm gonna substitute in 0 for x we have 0 plus y equals 1 and we know that's y equals 1 so when x is 0 y is 1 now we go down here using the same equation but this time we're going to substitute in 1 for x so we have 1 plus y equals 1 so we will have to subtract 1 on both sides and we have y equals 0 so when x is 1 y is 0 and then finally taking the same equation we would substitute in negative 1 for x plus y equals 1 now we need to get y by itself so we will add 1 on both sides and we will be left with y equals 2 so when x is negative 1 y is 2 now we go down here I'm going to show you the graph we have here we have 0 1 that's our first point we have negative 1 2 that's our second point and then we have 1 0 which is here okay so this is our graph now that's the first equation now we go here to the second equation y minus x equals 3 I still use the same values for my x and y the 1 0 and negative 1 so I substitute in 1 for x here so we have y minus 1 equals 3 and we need to get y by itself so we will add 1 on both sides so we will be left with y is equal to 4 so when x is 1 y is 4 now we go back to the same equation but this time we substitute in 0 for x so we have y minus 0 which is y and that equals 3 so when x is 0 y is 3 then finally we substitute in negative 1 for x so we have y minus a negative 1 equals 3 y minus a negative 1 will give us y plus 1 but we still need to get y by itself so we will subtract one on both sides and we will have y equals two now we go down here and graph those three points so here one point we have is we have zero three we have one four and we also have negative one positive two and if you notice both of these graphs intersect at negative 1 positive 2 so our final answer here is we'll go back here our final answer here is negative 1 positive 2 now if you want to check it you can we actually did the checking already when we substitute in negative 1 for x here in the first equation and we got 2 we substitute in negative 1 here and we also got 2 so this is the point where both of them intersect and this is the solution.
Also, class, the solution to this, um, this system of equations should have been written at the bottom of the page where it says solution. So the solution would be negative 1, 2. Okay, now we scroll to the next page. It says solving systems of two linear equations and two variables, x and y, by graphing. Okay, now it gives you the steps what you need to do in order to graph. Now, because of the lack of space on this page, I did the uh, finding of the ordered pairs on two separate Word documents here. Let me go here to the first document. What I did here was I found the ordered pairs for 2x minus 5y equals 15. So what I did here, we're written out here. First, I let x be 0, so I had 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 5y, gave you negative 5y, and it equals 15. Divide both sides by negative 5, and y is negative 3. Next, I had 2 times 5 minus 5y equals 15. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 5y equals 15. I subtracted 10 on both sides. And I had negative 5y equals 5. Divide each side by negative 5. And y is equal to negative 1. Last but not least, I substituted negative 5 for x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Minus 5y is 15. I added 10 on both sides. And we got negative 5y equals 25. And divided each side by negative 5. And y is negative 5. So the ordered pairs for this first equation is 0, negative 3, 5, negative 1, and, and negative 5, negative 5. So here we have that graph here. We have 0, negative 3, 5, negative 1, and negative 5, negative 5. Okay, now we go to the next, the next chart here, which is document 2. Okay, this is the equation, negative 3 fifths x plus 2. I substituted in 0 for x, and then I gave me 0 plus 2, which is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. Now, the reason why I used 5 here was because since we had a fraction, to get rid of the denominator, I would use 5 and also negative 5. So now I substitute in 5 here. These 5 simplify out and leave you negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Now I put in negative 5. First of all, a negative times a negative is positive. These 5's divide out, and you will have 3 plus 2, which is 5. So you have negative 5, 5. Now, we plot these points here. We have, we have 0, 2. We have negative 5, positive 5. And we also have negative 5, I mean positive 5, negative 1. Now, what we did here, we drew our graphs, and you see the intersection point is 5, negative 1. So we wrote our answer down here at the bottom as 5, negative 1. Now we are at example 5. It says solve the system. We have y equals 1 fourth x plus 2, and we use 0, 4, and negative 4. We use 0 and then the same denominator and its opposite. So when we substitute in 0, we get 2 for y. Substitute in 4, we get 3 for y. And substitute in negative 4, we get positive 1 for y. Now we go over here. We substitute in 0 for x, and we get negative 3. We substitute in 4 for x, and we get negative 2. And we also substitute in negative 4 for x, and we get negative negative 4. So we graph these points and after graphing these points we know we have two lines that are parallel. They will never intersect. So our solution here would be no solution and this system is called inconsistent. 